the essence of crushed pink diamonds in it. Oh my gosh, it's, it's too fancy, I can't handle it. I have everything that we got laid out here and uh, you probably saw most of this in the cart or in the vlog. But we did actually get the time to stop by Dollar General and there's my little snowman from Walmart. I was going to put him back and I had stepped away for like two split seconds and Todd just left him in there and bought him so that was a surprise for me. That's what I got at Dollar General. Um, I got one of my True Living candles in vanilla sugar and those are five dollars and then i saw these glorious little lip balms these are from taste beauty yep and there's milk and cookies christmas cookies hot cocoa and gingerbread those were three dollars and in probably like two days they'll be marked down to probably like 50 cents but anyway uh todd is the one that grabbed these and insisted so thank you honey i love you and i can't wait to open those i'll probably haul those in my live on haul again too because i've got a giant one coming up and then remember when i hauled that caramel marshmallow candle well um the smell was fantastic but i just didn't like the way that that one burned it was the three wick these are the best ever um now i haven't seen giant packs like this of the wax melts before i've already burned a couple of the caramel marshmallow twists and oh my gosh they're amazing i forgot how much i do like the uh, wax cubes from Dollar General as well and this is a pretty good size pack there's 24 of these and it was 350 so there's my tiny little Dollar General haul there's my little snowman from Walmart and so I'll start over here um, when I said cheating on Dollar Tree here's what I meant y'all I always get dishwasher packs at Dollar Tree and uh, we needed some so I went back to these and you guys I used them. I've got 20 tablets to go and the Dollar Tree ones still clean better. I know it sounds crazy. And then also I was out of nose spray and so I usually get this at the Dollar Tree, uh, the generic form for this exact one. For 88 cents, uh, the pill cutter and the AM PM weekly pill box. Yes, I'm blown away at how much better this one is uh, than Dollar Trees and there are several things I get at Walmart for 88 cents. Answer the poll up here if you want a video all about that because your girl has some other secrets but I cheated on Dollar Tree. I'm sorry. Okay so actually no. I ain't sorry. Uh, I feel like this is deja vu. At the very beginning of Vlogmas, I hauled some Viva paper towels and my Kleenex hand towel. I grabbed these little toothbrush holders. You probably saw me in the vlog grab these. I, I didn't know they had suction cups on them. Um, I just thought they were regular ones. So if those, I hope that I can remove those because I don't want the suction cup. <laughs> And I think that was the entire point of these. I just saw the little vents right there. And that's why I thought that they looked like they were good coverage. I don't know how to describe a flipping toothbrush cover. I also randomly grabbed these insoles. I do need some insoles for my tennis shoes. Um, and I love Dr. Shoals. And this is Walmart's version. And these only cost 98 cents. So I'm going to test these out. And then we got this giant pack of Hot Hands warmer packs. This was $5. So I got the soft soap in rich shea butter. And this one is like a fancy soft soap. Yas. And I did get the kitchen one, but it's already in my kitchen and in use. Uh, but it looks just like this, only it's like lemon and fabulous and yeah these are just temporary we go through soap like crazy i am gonna make a bath and body works run i've been waiting and waiting patiently um 
and I'm gonna go soon. So, uh, these are the fun things I got. This is what I sneaked in. Uh, this is a limited edition version of Todd's favorite pen. So, it's just like a very fancy limited, and you guys know I love limited edition anything version of the uh, G2 pen. And basically, it's just gonna be the same exceptional performance with an elegant metal body. Yas. Chrome accents complement the sophisticated matte metallic finish in the comfortable contoured grip. This paragraph, why do I feel like I've heard that in a beauty guru video before? <laughs> I mean, like, no hate or anything. Good gosh, I have mad respect for all those girls because I your girl can't do makeup, but I don't know. That just sounded funny to me. Okay, anyway, guys. Limited edition. Better Homes and Gardens Twinkling Holiday Lights. I can't even with this. This smells like a, like a little bit of pine mixed with twisted peppermint from Bath & Body Works. I was racking my brain and trying to figure out how to explain that to you guys. And, um... I have no idea how to explain it other than that. It's amazing. Just amaze balls. Um, don't remember how much it was. Didn't care. Last one, by the way. Uh, go me. And then we got this one. Todd loved this one. It's called Warm Rustic Woods. And this one smells like a sexy man. It smells fabulous. It smells like sandalwood mixed with pine, mixed with musk, mixed with just like sexy. The thing I was cheating on Dollar Tree with, these notebooks, like, I could not believe this. These were on clearance for 50 cents. I'm sorry, my hand's shaking, you guys. Um, 50 cents each. I got three of them. Where's my green one? I have a green one some somewhere. I thought I did. Where is it? Okay, I'll find it later. Anyway, um, well, at least I have my purple ones. So my heart's not completely broken. These are really nice. They kind of are like the five-star notebooks. They've got the pockets in the front, double pockets, 50 cents each. Um, yes, please. Then here's the beauty stuff I got. I got the Mitchum 48-hour protection powder fresh. They didn't have any other scents, but I will say that I never liked powder fresh and I tried this when I got home and I like it. I like it a lot. It does smell really good. Mitchum products are amazing. I found this, which I kind of feel guilty for buying this now because it was $6 and to me that's a lot, but at the same time, I'm a hypocrite because I have what I think could be the dupe to this which is by Christian Dior, and it's the Lip Glow, and uh, <laughs> this one's called Gotta Glow, um, and I think that this is a dupe to the Christian Dior one. I'm so excited to try it. But I'm just keeping it real with you guys. Like, for e.l.f., I guess in my mind, see, used to everything from e.l.f. was either $1 or e.l.f. Studio was 2 or I mean $3. But now e.l.f. has different prices on everything and stuff is freaking six dollars if this is a dupe for my dior bomb holla to try this mascara i've been wanting to try it for a while i don't think it's gotten good reviews i haven't seen it on any of the best of <laughs> mascaras for 2016 lists that i've seen i've seen a few of those by the way i'm always on the search for mascara you guys but, um, your girl was still wanting to try this, so I decided to, and you know what? I love it. It's actually been opened, and I did put some on when I got home, and I like it. I really do. I like it a lot. So, anyway, uh, it's the Falsies Push-Up Drama, and I only roll with waterproof. And I got another Dove Beauty Bar, and... I had two of those. Where's my other one? I'm missing a bag or something. Uh, but I use this to wash my face now. It's working out great. And last but not least, in all its glory, behold the Nivea Care and Illuminate body wash that shimmers with 
sparkling diamond powder. Yes, girl. I can't with it. So this is 25.4 ounces. I thought that the price was decent and I'm cheating on Dove. I'm just doing all kinds of cheating, y'all. That's everything I got at Walmart.